Before we can make a start on modeling our character, the first thing we will need to do is to create a project and get our reference images in the scene. So let's do that first of all. So job one is just gonna be file, project window. Robot character is a good name, so I might call it that. Robot character. And then you need to choose a location for your project. I'm going to put it in somewhere that I'll be able to share with you guys. So if I put it in my drive and shared, you can see I've already got a third person character tutorial folder. You can put a folder wherever you want. I'm just gonna choose this. You can see I've already got some images there which we'll look at in a second. And then we'll select that. I'm not gonna change any names, just gonna click on accept. Okay, now that's done, I just want to put some files in the correct place in that project. So let's open a window here. So here's that folder that I just put the uh, project in. And these three images here are our reference images that we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna put these, so I'm just gonna go cut, and I'm gonna put them into my source images folder, paste. If you want to use the same images as me, you absolutely can. This project that I'm working on right now will be linked down below in the description and you can get to this at any point. So that's how you can do that. Right, so now my project is set up. Let's go back to Maya. And I want to save the scene. So file, save scene as. And you can see that I'm in the right place because I've just set my project. And I'm gonna call it modeling. Yeah, we'll just go with modeling, that'll do it. Save. I would also recommend at this stage to make sure that you've got my three favorite settings on, which is infinite undos, incremental save, and auto save. Um, I'll link the video somewhere, probably top corner of the screen, so that you can do that if you haven't already. Okay, what I'll do now is change the workspace from Maya Classic to modeling standard. Gives me a little bit more screen real estate. And then I'm gonna go to my four view. And there we go and I'm gonna bring in those source images that I just showed you that I put into the source images folder. So here's the top view, so we're gonna go view, image plane, import image, and it put me in the right folder, and I've just copied the files in there, so which view is that one? Top, so we'll use the top image, open. These images should line up pretty closely because I drew them in a way that should mean that that happens, but we might just have to use a little bit of common sense to get things lined up. So now we're gonna do the front, Import image, front, and there it is. And then we've just got the side left, import image, side. Okay, so they're all in, that's a good start. Now what I want to do is make sure that I'm gonna be working to the correct scale because we want this to just work when we take it over to Unreal Engine when we're done. And we're gonna set it to about normal sort of human height, which is about 180 centimeters is kind of, the, the high end of the average male. So we'll go for that. And the way I'm gonna make sure that I do that is just create a cube. There you go, you can see the cube's just there. I'm gonna open my channel box and I'm gonna resize this cube. So I'm gonna set the height to 180. And then as I zoom out, you can see that's kind of how tall I want my character to be. So now I'm gonna select all of my image planes. Just doing that with a marquee selection. That's not selected all three, has it? Okay, we'll do them one at a time. So let's scale this up. And what I want to do is make sure that it kind of matches the height of the cube that I've created. So uh, we'll do the top of the head. And that looks about right. And the foot. Hmm. So I just need to move my cube down a bit. To get a good idea, I'll just turn this grid off a minute. Okay, need to get it roughly in the right place, and then I can see that this just needs bringing down a little bit. That's about right. And so I can see that I've set my scale to 11.3. I'm gonna round that to 11, because that's gonna make it easier to do that for the other views as well. So that gets that started. I can now delete that cube, and I'm gonna set the size of the others to 11. So this one here is gonna be set to 11. And this one here is also going to be set to 11. So there we go. Oh, hello. So you can now see that I've got these reference images in. Everything should line up. You can see the edge of the fingers pretty much lines up in different views. So do the bottom of the feet and the top of the head. Everything's pretty close. 
So all I need to do now is move these images out of the way so that they won't be in the way when I want to model. So we'll just move this one back here. This one will push back there. And you always want to be pushing them down or back. Don't bring them up or forward because they'll get in the way. Okay, so that now puts them in place. And you can see that in the orthographic view, nothing's changed. They're still where I want them to be. And that's the setup complete. We've got a project. We have our reference images in the right folder. We've also set up the image planes to about the right scale. And we have saved our scene. So that means the auto save will kick in as well. Okay, in the next part, we are going to be creating a cube and turning that into the main torso. I'm able to continue making these videos thanks to the ongoing support of my amazing patron community. If you'd also like to support Game Dev Academy via Patreon, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you.